Hey everyone, Ashton here with 10 Cents with another fragrance review. Today we're taking a look at Pineapple Vintage Classic. So my review of Pineapple Vintage Noir got some people stirred up. Uh, up until now I haven't done a 0 to 5 or 0 to 10 rating on a fragrance when I do a review, but I'm going to start that from here on. So Pineapple Vintage Noir would have gotten 3.5 out of 5. So obviously that makes it a 7 out of 10. Like I said, it gets compliments, it projects, it lasts for a long time, it smells nice. It just didn't blow me away. So to me, it's a 7 out of 10. If it's a 10 out of 10 for you, that's fine. Everyone has a different opinion. Also, uh, stay tuned until the end of the video because we're going to be giving away a bottle of Pineapple Vintage. Um, so go ahead and stay tuned until the end and then we will go over how to enter to win a bottle. So if you've seen other reviewers take on this, you know it's really similar to Noir. So we'll just go ahead and roll right through this. It opens up with bergamot, which gives off a juicy pineapple kind of feel. Uh, fleeting birch is a note, and the birch is really minor here. It's much less than Noir, much, much less than you would find in an older batch of Aventus. Uh, but that being said, that's not what this is going for. So you can't really hold that against it. In the mid, there are some florals, but I don't really pick them up. Um, so I know they're there, but they don't really come through. In the base, you do get a nice vanillic note with some ambergris. Uh, it's not super strong or overpowering. The main player here is that bergamot pineapple note, and it does carry through for a majority of the fragrance, so that's nice. Uh, projection is really good, just like in Noir, and longevity is really good as well. So we're talking eight plus hours there. Um, it performs really great. I mean, there's not really anything negative that you can say about that, just with, uh, just like with Noir, uh, very good performance. You would think that this would be more of a summer, spring, and maybe fall fragrance, but where it performs so well, you can wear it pretty much all year round if you wanted to. Uh, compliments wise, this one performs just like Noir. In the Noir review, I said I got multiple compliments with that. Same holds true here. Uh, if you get compliments with Classic, you'll get them with Noir. If you get compliments with Noir, you'll get them with Classic. There are differences between the two fragrances, but it's not uh, such a difference that one will get you a huge amount of compliments and the other will get you none. I do think the open on Classic is a little bit better than the open on Noir. So between the two, uh, this one would be my preference for wear in spring and summer. And then fall and winter, I would go noir. Uh, it's not a huge difference, and you could convince me either way. It's just that added little touch of a, a birch accord in noir makes it feel a little more um, appropriate for fall and winter. Again, we get to price. Pineapple Vintage and Pineapple Vintage Noir are on the high end of alternatives or clones of other fragrances. So my suggestion is the same as before. If you're interested in Pineapple Vintage Classic or Noir, go ahead and go onto their website, buy samples, and test it out first. If you like it, go ahead and splurge for a full bottle when you can. If you don't like it, then it's not a big deal because you're only out 10 bucks. All right, guys, that's my review for Pineapple Vintage Classic. Uh, quick recap, Classic would be a 7.5 out of 10 for me. Noir is a 7 out of 10. The opening on Classic is a little bit juicier, a little bit nicer. Classic is better for spring, summer. Uh, noir for fall, winter, but really you could wear them any season because they perform really well. Now, as far as the giveaway goes, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, those will be the prerequisites. And then below, put that uh, you want to be entered into the giveaway. Um, because last time we did a giveaway, not everybody said they wanted to be entered. And if you don't want to be entered, that's fine. If you leave a comment and you don't want to be entered, just say, I don't want to be entered. That way, in case you get selected from the little randomizer, I can just do it again until it lands on someone who did enter. But if you do want to enter, you can leave a comment about whatever, but make sure that you say you want to enter the giveaway. So we'll keep this open until I hit, um, we'll say 4,100 subscribers. That's 200-ish from where I'm at now. So that should give people long enough to see this and enter, I think. Um, so that's when we'll do the cutoff and I'll do the video where we do a randomizer and it will select from the comments section uh, some random person and then they will win. So when we do that video, whoever wins, go ahead and send me a message 
Uh, a lot of you know me on Facebook or Instagram. Um, if you are not connected with me there, you can send it there. If not, message me on YouTube and tell me what you would like. So you can either pick the classic or noir, and then I will package it up and go ahead and send it off to you. Uh, it'll be a full bottle. And we'll go ahead and make this, um, we'll go ahead and make this worldwide. So this is for everybody. Whoever wants to enter can enter. And um, hopefully you will win. So yeah, that'll be the giveaway. Um, I think that's everything. I think we've covered everything. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys next time and good luck.